Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your November 2021 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you are Leo. Let's get straight into your reading and see what we have for you. It will take me a minute or two to pull the cards. So by all means, fast forward to the beginning of the reading if you don't want to see the shuffle. Just appreciate a lot of people do like to see the shuffle. Um, and... It won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, so we have the Four of Wands, overarching energy, Four of Wands, happy home, happy family, sometimes celebratory energy, Nine of Pentacles, the World Card, Two of Cups, We have the Nine of Wands. Okay, let's see what else we get for you. So I'm going to pull two cards in terms of love, romance, relationships here. And we'll pull two cards for money and career as well. And then any other message that comes up for you, Leo. What do we have for Leo? Message for Leo. Starting with love, romance, relationships, please. What do we have for Leo? Thank you. Two cards have fallen out. We have the Nine of Cups and the Moon. Money and career for Leo, November 2021. Thank you. Two cards have fallen out for that as well. High Priestess and the Star. Let's get an extra one for that one. There you are, Leo. I mean, you've got two cards there of divine wish fulfillment. Okay. So I'm going to pull an angel answer card. Message for Leo, please. Message for Leo. What do we have for Leo? So an energy of keep on going, don't stop. Message for Leo in love, romance, relationships. Message for Leo in love, romance, relationships. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Feels very special, especially with the Two of Cups being here. There's generally a real deep soul connection in that energy. Let's pull you a card for money and career. Message for Leo in money and career, please. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we have face your financial fears. When you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness and you'll realise that you in fact have nothing to fear. That every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts. Okay, Leo. We start with the overarching energy, the Four of Wands. This is a real positive energy in terms of home and family and relationships. For some of you, I, I feel this can represent celebration or a reason um, or pending celebration. That could be in terms of engagements or proposals. Um, very good in other areas of, of coming together and celebrating as a family or as a relationship for whatever reason. Um, you know, this, I mean, you've got wish fulfillment cards in both your money and career and also in your love romance relationship areas here. So it might well be for some of you that there's the potential of wish fulfillment. Obviously, it is by your actions. And I do some see, see a little bit of resistance, maybe a little bit of fear here as well. The nine of pentacles and the two of cups. So this is somebody who is, um, the Nine of Pentacles is a great 
money card, somebody who enjoys material success and abundance through sheer hard work. It's taken a lot of work to get to this point, but now they're enjoying the fruits of their labour. It could be an offer or an invitation is available to you this month. Maybe meeting some kind of like-minded soul, like-minded individual. Um, somebody may see your potential in money and career this month, Leo. There is certainly material success available to you. I mean, this is really beautiful in terms of money, career, finances. The other energy that I have here, Leo, is in terms of love, romance, relationships. There is somebody who you are connected to, either... It can be somebody new with a view to longer term relationship or commitment. This relationship can have potential here, especially if this could be the one. It could be somebody in your atmosphere, maybe um, a friend or some kind of soul connection here, kindred spirit. There is a deep connected energy with this person. So somebody might be asking you out here, you know, the nine of, of pentacles is somebody who is very independent, who can stand on their own two, on their own two feet, certainly in terms of money, career, finances, but also in terms of their own self-esteem and self-worth. This is what I deserve and I don't accept anything less than what I deserve. So this is somebody who doesn't necessarily need a relationship, they choose one. And I... Feeling this energy, you're meeting some kind of like-minded soul here. So certainly the potential of new relationships here. And with the, the Nine of Cups, this can be a wish coming true. The Moon energy will come to in a moment because there may well be some doubts or fears. Um, in terms of existing relationships, this could be taking a relationship to the next level. I feel for some of you, this can be an energy of, you know, I'm happy with the current independence I'm enjoying. So I have to understand, do I want to go to the next level with this? And I feel for some of you, you may well be faced with some kind of decision because there's certainly an energy in a current relationship. I'm, I'm really happy with the level of independence I am, I am, I'm at, um, do I really want to go to this next level now? So some of you may well be um, being challenged in some way with that kind of predicament. Because there is an energy in terms of love, romance, relationship of taking the relationship to the next level, evolving. Certainly a current relationship, a deep soul connection, it might well be there is an invitation, let's get married, or let's buy a house together, or let's start a family together. I mean, however you would see evolving this relationship. There is somebody who may be resisting. You know, the nine of wands can sometimes be a little bit of, a little bit of, of holding back, uh, sometimes out of fear, sometimes out of uncertainty. Sometimes because, for whatever reason, you know, this person may have been through some challenges or challenging journey and they're still in that warrior mode of guarding their heart, still being a little bit defensive here. But the Nine of Wands is one less than the Ten of Wands. So I feel in this energy, they've come so far on this journey. It's almost kind of like there's an energy of struggling to overcome some kind of limitation or fear that's holding them back. It could be this energy of, I, I trust myself, I trust me on my own, I trust this level of, of independence, if it's a current relationship, I trust where I'm at in terms of this relationship, but do I actually want to feel like I'm giving something up to go to the next level? Am I ready for that? Am I comfortable with that? And those are the questions you might be faced with. Uh, for those of you in terms of a new relationship, again, there may well be just guarded energy from past experiences, you know, in actually bringing something to a close. There may well be closure that you needed to do with the past in some way and opening up to new love in the present. So I feel for some of you, it is just those issues. I certainly see in terms of money and career here, the, the Nine of Wands and the World card, you're one step away 
from getting some kind of offer or invitation on the table. There's certainly an energy of look how far you've come. Sometimes we don't appreciate how far, how far we've evolved, how far we've come on a journey. It's not always been difficult, not, not always been easy with the nine of wands. Um, but nevertheless, this is an energy of just one final push. And then we see some level of celebration here. So I feel in the, in the energy here, Leo, very good in terms of money career, very good in terms of love, romance, relationships. There is certainly an opportunity in love to get your hopes, dreams and wishes. We have the energy of this could be the one either in new love or existing love for some of you. It is that taking something to the next level, stepping across that line. And that's, that's the understanding that you need to acquire in what is holding you back. Where does this resistance come from? Because real happiness, love and fulfillment are available to you. This can also be that celebratory energy, that revelry energy or a celebration. The moon energy is fear, doubt. And it might well be, it might well be because you've, you're, you're guided because of past experiences or past challenges. You know, I've been here before and it probably didn't end up well. You know, and it, it, it feels in this kind of energy, new love or existing love, it is understanding. There is certainly a soul connection, somebody who your, your souls recognize each other, your souls connect to each other, even when you don't say anything with this person. And I feel there's certainly an energy here of, it is understanding what this one, nine of wands is all about, what is making you hold back, the hidden fears, the hidden doubts. And sometimes there's subconscious energy associated with this, the scars or experiences that remain deep in our psyche that sometimes when that moon appears, certainly moon energy, it needs to be released, acknowledged and released. So it might well be some of that as well here, Leo, but there's definitely an energy here of, of with the moon energy, it's a card of hidden blessings. Sometimes it is an energy of sometimes you have to just surrender and trust where your heart is leading you. In terms of money, career, finances, look at the guidance here so there's definitely an energy of the universe is guiding you to your wish to your divine wish fulfillment a wish being granted this could be in the form of some kind of offer or an opportunity like i said and certainly a very lucrative deal a very lucrative offer or agreement in some way um there's certainly an energy here of of there's one step to go, one final push to go. This is the energy of being strong. You coming back to who you are. The star card is a sense of renewal. So you being renewed in your true light again, in terms of money, career, finances, coming into your own. And even though you don't see it, you know, certainly the moon energy in here in this reading, um, even though you don't see it, even though, you know, the end you can't see in sight, there's one final push. I mean, that could be in the form of a meeting or a discussion or a presentation, um, interview, pitch. I mean, call it what you will. There's one, you know, it could be coursework or um, like paperwork or uh, some kind of test. There's just one final push. And then we have the successful completion, the victory, the winning through, you win. So this is about having faith, even though, again, there is blind trust available here, needing to believe in yourself and understanding that you have the power to shape the reality as you want it by your sheer force of will, sheer belief in yourself and the strength and courage to face any challenge that comes your way this month and overcome it by being in your power. Now, Leo, I also see you in this energy as um, being very persuasive. There's a real kind of like persuasive energy here about you this month. Um, so this is an energy of play to your strengths, 
play to your strengths and understand how charismatic and persuasive you can be because there's definitely an energy for some of you it could end up with celebration in the home the family and again this can be home family or something that affects your home and family in some way and we have wish fulfillment all over this reading so it just feels like your wish is within your grasp this month in more than one area of your life just understand the barriers and understand certainly in terms of money career, that change is very a lot closer than you realise. That's what I have for you. I'm going to pull you a final card. Final message for Leo. Squirrel spiritual maintenance. Be your own caretaker. Isn't that lovely? It's a hard-working energy, the squirrel energy. But it's putting actually the work in the right direction. We have star, intuition, listen to your soul's truth, think less, feel more. And that's definitely this heart energy coming through. Starting with the two of cups, the nine of cups, you know, and this energy of just blind trust, blind faith this month, guiding you in the right direction. But I, I certainly see three major arcana in your money career. There's a blessing coming your way. It feels very beautiful and you're being guided towards it. It might well be, you might be meeting somebody or you might be, you know, as soon as you might walk into a place, it just feels right. That is that intuitive energy. It just feels right for me. So you might be experiencing that, Leo. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.